28 years of experience in teaching university level subjects of financial accountancy and management, business economics, taxation and human resources. Many of his students are established professionals today. He shares his wisdom by writing inspiring quotes. He also serves the community editing videos of religious inspiring quotes. He also serves the community popularizing the religious quotes. He is also a cartoonist and raises many social issues in his drawings. He shall be speaking on the just rule of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. His speech will be in English. I would like to welcome Professor Azhar Wadia Sahab on stage, please. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytani rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir. Assalamu alaikum ya bakirtallah ya arzi. Assalamu alaikum to all the members here. My topic given to me, the topic given to me is the just rule of the Imam. I am thankful to Mr. Yasin Marchand who introduced me to you in a very profound manner. But there is one thing I had not written in my profile, which is very personal to me, is that I had no marifa about the Imam, any of the Imams. I'm a new Muslim here. I had utterly no idea what Imam is, what Imamat is. Because when you are away from the Imam, the biggest problem is you do not know who your Savior is. For me, Savior was Superman, Spiderman, and Batman. Because I knew that these persons will come and help me when I am in a problem because I did not have the marifa of the Imam, any of the Imam. I had no idea what a majlis is. I was born in a Mohibbani Ali family. I was raised by them. But the, when you have no marifa, your biggest uh, entertainment is the world. You like it there, you enjoy it there. And whoever is there saving the injustice done to the people out there, like Superman, Batman, and uh, Spider-Man of my area. Now there are some new people who have come to save the world. But they remain on the screen. They don't come out. The problem is that. They will not come in front of you and try to help you. But you get very inspired, you know, because injustice is there, blood shedding is there, so much of atrocities are there. And the world is being burning by fire. If a person in a developed country dies, there are three days of mourning. But if children, 40 children, 50 children die in a Muslim country, there is no outcry. Nobody is bothered. So to so, even my community is not bothered. We are enjoying here, and people are dying there. Imam, when you have the marifa of the Imam, you start loving the Imam, you start knowing him very well, and then you know he is the right person who is going to save you because he's not in the books. I had a Shia friend, and uh, <laughs> I'm blessed to him, have you? And he used to always discuss with me, Superman will not come, Spider-Man will not come, what are you after? I said, I find only these people here. He said, see, the Imam is there. And I said, I can't see the Imam here. He said, can you see yourself without a mirror? I said, no. So how will you see the Imam then? You can't see yourself and trying to find somebody else. But I'll tell you one thing. Come to me with a Maulana, I'll make a discussion with you. I was not a very religious type of a person. In my sense, religious means I can pray five times and I respect the religion, that's it. And I, what I used to do is that, I used to run away when my people used to go to the masjid and I used to be in the cricket ground playing. I never missed a namaz, but he was never on time. So he told me, ke ek din mere masjid chalna. come to me to the mosque, let's pray together, let's have fun. I say, in masjid you'll have fun? Yes, he come to say. Let's see there what happens, you don't know what's happening there. You're just with the outside world there. I said, no problem, let's go. There's no harm in going to the mosque. And if there is fun there, I don't mind coming. Because for me, the fun was on the ground. So I went there to the mosque. 
Fortunately, the Imam of the mosque was superb, fantastic. Yeah. He could understand, not get angry on silly discussions. Normally, you were scared of a Maulana. You know, he said, if he says something, he said, Allah, 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 kya bol rahe hain? I said, no, I don't want to come. Because normally, in my brains, a Maulana used, sorry, in my brains, the Maulana used to be like, you know, a dangerous species. You say something, Hey, theater jata. You go to the theater. I used to go to the theater. But don't scold here. Because I don't know what it is. I'm trying to come near you. Don't throw me far away. Because if you are not next to me, the Imam will not come to next to me. Because I want to know the Imam through you. So he went there. We, I went there with my friend. And we sat, we had a discussion with the Maulana. And to the Maulana, my friend is saying, Maulana, ye mera Superman dost I said, Abhi Maulana ke saamne izzat gira diya tu. Now what is left for me to say anything? He says, okay, chill, he understands what I want to say. We had a discussion. Maulana said, uh, do you know about some imams? I said, yeah, I have heard them. He said, which imam do you know? I said, yeah, I know Imam Ali. Ferocious, humble, learned, answers any questions from any books. He's great man. Oh, man, my friends are scared. You know, he said, come on, chill. I said, I love Imam Ali. He said, you know, Imam Ali was there, and then Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain, he told me the whole line. I said, yeah, I know these names, but I don't have marif about them. I have learned them by heart, because if I wouldn't know the name by heart, my parents would scold me. Hey, you don't have a name for me. You should know, because I was a labeled Muslim, not with marif. So what we did was that we had a discussion, Maulana said, cutting my topic short because I have short time, but it was interesting if I could continue. Maulana said that there is one last son of Imam Ali going to come. God has picked him up for a reason. If I go into the discussion, maybe this is the first day of yours, you'll be scared. But he is going to come, and this bloodshed, atrocities, tyranny, he is going to abolish everything, the just rule. He is going to come with justice, and as all the speakers have said, the hujja, he is going to come. Even if a day is left, he is going to come, Allah will lengthen that day and bring him here. Allah never backtracks from his promise. I may go back, I may say, I have a promise, but Allah will do that. He will get him here. He is going to be just, he is going to be with you, and he will show you what justice is. He will abolish all this. Superman is good, but in the theater, reality may Imam is there. Why don't you come towards the Imam? Have some marifa about him. So I said, will he bring justice? Yes, he will bring justice. Will he bring equity amongst everybody? I said, equity, yes, he will get. Because he is created for that. He has to do that. Because his ancestors were brutally murdered. I asked, all the 13 of the Masumin were murdered. I asked the Maulana, why were they murdered? They did not have palaces. They used to eat, uh, you, what do you call it? The bread which could not be broken also. What did they have that the people who had so much large, big armies were they scared of these people? What could have they done? What was wrong that they killed an 18-year woman? What could she do? The Maulana said, she had character. The people who are scared of money, fame, are actually scared of character. Character should be strong. If the character is strong, the enemy is going to kill you because he knows you can turn the tide, like Bibi Zainab did. She turned the tide, and the Imam is from that family. When he comes, he will abolish all the crimes. It will be a very good scene, fairy tale. Fairy tale are good in books to read, you can see there is a metaphorical statement also that in the time of the Imam, the wolf and the lamb will stay in peace. There will be security. They will love each other, not because they will change their status that the lion will not eat the lamb or something. But there will be security, social security. There will be no poverty. You don't have to beg. Muslims, everybody will be Muslims. I asked the Maulana, will the Muslims uh, will the people at that time become Muslims? You know, because one incident happened. I was in the car, in the room with uh, my work, and suddenly my Hindu, uh, Hindu friend came along. He said, Azhar, it's going to be one o'clock. You don't want to go and pray? 
So I said, Ari, yaar, main bhool gaya. and you are more concerned about my prayers. What's this, yaar? Yeah. Okay, thik hai, main jata And I asked him, chalta hai saath mein? You come, let's go. I'll, you also come. He walked away, he did not come. I rushed to the mosque. The Maulana who was there, who was training me, he said, I thought you won't come today. He said, I, was, I told him, Maulana, frankly, I was not supposed to come. But you know what? My Hindu friend told me about this, and I came here running. He told me, let's discuss after the prayers. You know, after the prayers, he sat along with me, and what did he tell me? In the time of the Imam, everybody is going to accept Islam. I said, everybody? He said, yeah, everybody. I said, with the sword? He said, no. Did the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam use the sword? I said, no. His words were offensive? I said, no, they were defensive. Do you think Islam has spread because of the sword? I said, no. He said, then I asked, I'm perplexed. Like, how will everybody become Muslim? He said, because of his character. People will be so close to him because of the character, not because of the sword. He will show the true Islam. He will bring the correct interpretations of the Quran. He will get in the correct Sharia, which is being destroyed by backward societies and ruthless governments because of their personal gains. Sharia is damaged. He will get it back. And then you see the fun happening at the last era, when the Imam comes. You will enjoy that. And do you want to be there at that time when the Imam comes? I said, I don't know. I may be dead by that time. He said, raise up yourself. I said, how? He said, go pray dua and ahad every morning. 40 days you read, and he is going to get you, and he will make you see. But the fairy tale book, Superman will not make you see this. It is the Imam who has the power of everything, and he will get you here, and he will make you comfortable. The relationships which are broken between the father and the, uh, sorry, the parents and the children, the husband and the wife, there is so much of disturbances today. Everything will be abolished because he is going to come with a light. That light will touch the hearts. And when it touches the hearts of you people and me also, that brains which were not working will start working, will not take any decisions which are irrational, but will take rational decision. Islam will be at peace. People will be at peace and not in pieces. Thanks a lot. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala alayhi wa appreciation from Promised Mehdi. Thanks a lot, sir. For your wonderful words. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Azhar Wadia Saab, for an honest and inspiring description of incidences of your life that helped strengthen your faith. Sadaqallahu al-Aliyu al-Azim.